And welcome back. Here's a live look at our sky cam. We got mainly cloudy skies out there. It is a cool start, a little above where it should be this time of year. But temperatures will fall a couple more degrees. We start to clear it out as we go through the next couple of hours. Look for lows getting into the upper 30s into the Fargo area before temperatures start to rise through the 40s through the morning. We'll see our high into the lower 50s with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. We go through later on today as we keep that west northwesterly wind. We're at 41 degrees right now in Fargo, but with that wind up there around 13 miles per hour. It does feel like 34. We got mainly cloudy skies. Moorhead holding at 39 degrees and Grand Forks holding at 42 degrees under mainly cloudy skies. They have a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind up that way too. Everybody else mainly into the upper 30s. We have 39 at Jamestown, 37 at Devil's Lake, 39 Thief River Falls, Roseau and Bidette, 39 at Bemidji and Wadena holding at 37 degrees. Taking a look at the current visibilities, we are seeing everybody near the maximum value that we report at 10 miles. Most of the fog is staying well off to the south and off to the west of the viewing area. So it should be a, an okay uh, morning commute in most places. We got that wind up there a little stronger than it has been over the past couple of days, mainly between 5 and 20 miles per hour. And the wind is mainly from the west or west-northwest across the region. Now the satellite loop showing we got mainly cl uh, cloudy skies out there. And we're seeing clear skies off to the south and to the east. But most of us are staying dry as most of the moisture is well off to the south. We have this low pressure system that's working its way away from us and this cold front that's making its way through. And we got that nice northerly flow that is keeping temperatures down. High pressure is working its way in. Across the country, most of the moisture from this system into Kansas and South Dakota and some snow showers getting into western Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. Other than that, we are seeing mainly clear skies across uh, most of the south and temperatures uh, down into the south into the 60s and 70s. Right now there's a, an area of 50s and 30s and 40s across most of the region. That is what we are seeing. Uh, that's the uh, direction our weather is going to be coming from. So we will keep mainly cloudy skies through the first part of the morning and then we are clearing temperatures into the lower 50s. We keep that west northwesterly wind. Now as we go through the overnight period, temperatures will fall into the lower 30s with those mainly clear skies. We might see a few passing clouds as we go through the day tomorrow. Temperatures are staying mainly into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. So here's the afternoon planner into the Southern Valley. Sunny skies and cool temperatures into the upper 40s to near 50. Into Lake Country, we're mainly into the low 50s out there. Uh, sunny skies and cool wind west northwest between 10 and 20 miles per hour. That will be the case across most of the area. Mostly sunny skies in a northland Minnesota. Temperatures staying uh, well into the uh, lower to mid 40s in most places, and we will stay into the mid to upper 40s into the northern valley. Mostly cloudy skies and a little cool for this time of year. Now, extending the forecast as we go through the day on Thursday, mainly sunny skies but chilly. Lows near 30, highs near 50 degrees. Then for the day on Friday, sunny skies, highs into the mid 50s, and lows getting into the upper 30s. Then for the day on Saturday, we've got mostly sunny skies, and it will be a little warmer as we start the weekend. Unseasonably warm for this time of year. In fact, look for a high of 65 degrees. Then for the day on Sunday, we've got mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures uh, starting off into the lower 40s, topping off into the lower 60s, and then really warm as we go through the day on Monday. We got partly cloudy skies. We got a nice dry weather pattern ahead. Temperatures uh, into the upper 60s. That's about 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. Then for the day on Tuesday, we got mostly cloudy skies. Our next chance is some moisture, a slight chance of some showers starting off at 46, and we'll see temperatures getting into the mid-60s by this time next week. Not quite the record highs mm -hmm. that they're seeing in the southern U.S. and parts of the East Coast, which would feel nice, but not bad this time of year for this part of the country in October. No, not bad at all. Into the mid to upper 60s, that's uh, pretty good. 15 degrees above normal, in mm -hmm. fact. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Thank you, Justin. It's time to break out the crock pots. We have recipes that the whole family will love coming up here on the Valley today.